there's a feeling potentially that he might not be 100% cleared. Mm. I still think that Conor Ben fight will always be there for him. What chance to give Cambosis versus Maxi Hughes? I don't it? think Eubank's got the power to knock out Smith. What happens if Chris Eubank Jr. loses this fight? He needed to go with this fight because mm. if he went with a Conor Ben fight now, it's just going to look bad on him at the minute. The question is, did he put out there to, to throw people off? Welcome to another episode of Bloodlust Boxing. I'm Sav. I'm Baz. And today's episode, we're joined by boxing enthusiast, Steve. Right, Hello Steve. there. You all right? Steve. Yeah. No, thank Welcome you for inviting me on. No, cheers. Thank you. We're a boxing channel by the fans, for the fans. And Steve, you love your boxing, don't you? That's it. That's it. It's an honour to come on. It's brilliant. Thank you. Day. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get into it, massive thank you to everyone that subscribed last week. It's been crazy. Keep dropping those comments, those likes. Really appreciate it. It's, it's, uh, it's been a bit spicy in the the Tyson it's Fury been a video. bit heated, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. People got a strong, strong feelings on on the whole thing. Yeah, just keep putting your views out there. On today's uh, episode, we're going to look at Liam Smith versus Chris Eubank Jr. Two. It has been announced again. I think is this the third <laughs> announcement we're seeing? Oh, I don't know, man. This I is. Think, just... I think Eubank announced it <laughs> about two weeks ago, didn't he? Yeah. And, then, and yeah. Liam Smith didn't said he didn't know anything about it. But it's been a it really was, strange. It was one. off again, on again. Unlike <laughs> Eubank to play mind games, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's, it's it's just weird that we're not sure why. Like Liam Smith originally pulled out of the fight because he was injured. I think it was, I believe mm. it was a back injury. Oh, that's right. It's been pushed back a few times. So yeah, they said after that, didn't they? Like two weeks, like put it back. Then it was off. Then it was all about Conor Ben fighting New Bank again. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, then so... and now it's gone back to that. So I'm guessing. Yeah, so I've are, got a man. slight conspiracy theory. <laughs> there he goes again. It doesn't. It, <laughs> it doesn't always come off, but the odd one does. And depending on when this goes out, it might be completely debunked. But we've been hearing that Conor Ben's going to be cleared. We're, like it's always yeah. been next week, next week, next week. He's going to be cleared. Imminent. Imminent. He did a post, didn't he, in his car? Mm, that sort of said yeah. uh, that, that uh, life is good or something like that, didn't he? Something around but that. It, it's, so, it's just yeah. strange timing, but this fight's now been announced, and uh, there's a feeling potentially that he might not be 100% cleared. I might have to serve some nah. sort of a ban. Just just putting it out there, <laughs> potentially, <laughs> allegedly. But but allegedly, yeah, yeah. maybe that's what's pushed this. To, to get made he, he needed he needed to go with this fight because mm. if he went with a Conor Ben fight now it's just going to look bad on him at the minute I agree it's still yeah. not enough people are, are happy with the situation as is anyway yeah, but, but why has it been pushed back so many times it's been going on for ages you've got Callis Allen who's who's part of Wasserman he's, he's not really distanced himself from that fight with, with Conor Ben and it's only now that he's sort of come out and said, "Oh, we weren't, we weren't looking at it." But it's taken all this time. Why, why do you think that is? I think. We, do you think with Eubank as well, though? Like, he's it's almost. A, I mean, he could lose both of them quite easily. But like, it's a win-win <laughs> in terms of getting paid. Like, if he if he has the Liam Smith fight now, it's pay per view. He's going to get a lot of money for it. Mm. I still think that Conor Ben fight will always be there for him, yeah. even does if this, he loses. Does this fight make him money though? Does it? Uh, the Liam Smith fight. Yeah. Pay per view. Is it pay per view? Um, do you reckon? Worthy? Is it pay per view worthy? I think so, yeah, because I think the first fight was a shock, and he's yeah. and he's got to come again now, isn't he? But <laughs> the same, no, I, I still think it'll be a Liam Smith win. <laughs> but um, I was shocked by that first fight. I never, I've never, I never thought a Eubank would be getting knocked out. But yeah, you know. I don't, I don't want to, you know, just keep put out there. But I mean, we did predict Liam Smith win. Um, but as you said, I thought he would, I thought he would win, but I didn't think Eubank would get knocked out. Uh, yeah. Knocked out, uh, and that was a proper knockout as well. Yeah, I think. And he's I, I don't think, everyone, it, I don't it? think Eubank's got the power to knock out Smith. So I think he could be. Win in the fight for as long as he wants, and then Smith will catch up with him. See, so I this think... is a, a foregone conclusion for you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely Liam Smith, and then it'll come back to the Conor Ben fight, and he'll make money off that as well. But, <laughs> but even even if he were to beat Conor Ben, where does he go from there? I, I, I mean, I've said it before. I, I I thought he was weight drained when he fought Liam Smith, and in the fights yeah. before that, he you saw Chris Eubank Jr. fading off towards the end of the fight. He yeah. had a couple, and he looked strong in the beginning, but faded off. And I was saying already that the weight limit was already tight and and then the fact that they were looking at boiling him down even more for the Conor Ben fight before it got called off yeah. it's just it's just mad because Thank Christ it didn't yeah i think it's going to be the same same thing again because the only nothing really has changed apart from he's got david hay in camp apparently Oh, did you see that? Uh, what his dad said on Talksport oh, Senior. Well, go, go ahead. Say what did he say? He said uh, that I don't know. Again, like I said earlier, mind games is obviously a thing with the Eubanks, but it doesn't seem that Senior and Junior are eye to eye at the moment. That's for sure. And yeah. uh, and Senior said on Talksport that Hay, because Hay's in the camp now, isn't it? Hay and Roy Jones are in the camp. Mm. 
and uh, that Hay was saying to Senior that Junior's sort of doing his own thing still. That's right. Yeah. And, that's, uh, I think that's I, I think Adam Booth said that about you back back in the day as well that he just did his own thing. Yeah. And I think that's why he just doesn't kick on because yeah. he nah. just doesn't listen. It, it can work for you in two ways, really. You need as a boxer, I guess you have to be a bit stubborn when you're going into a fight to believe that you can win. But then at the same time, you need to be able to take on some advice as well. So if it's not working, then you need to get the support from others around you. But yeah, I guess the question is, did did he put out there to 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 throw people off? I mean, that's it. Yeah, it wouldn't like, be the first time, would it? <laughs> yeah, and then realistically, what would David Hay offer for Shubank Junior? He's done a great job with like Chisora, didn't he? Yeah, but that's con- it's completely different weight classes though. So. Mm. Like, well, the fighting but, styles are going to be different. They're going to have to be different. The energy levels, don't you think? He he helped get Chisora. True, that's true. It was a lot more conditioned in his fights when he teamed up with David Hay. Yeah. He were not necessarily getting the wins, but he looked a lot more conditioned. He did get him up to another level in terms of Chisora's, what he, what he achieved, didn't he? Mm. Um, yeah. And I think that's going to be, I think getting the weight right is the key for Chris Eubank Jr. for mm. him to win this fight. He, yeah. he needs to get get that exactly right because he, he said he didn't make it right in the last fight versus Liam Smith, but was that just an excuse? This, this is a middleweight, this one. Is that, this is, a, is it, uh, is it 160, isn't it? Yeah, 160. 160. So middleweight. So I don't yeah. don't believe there's any rehydration clause or anything on there. But Yeah, but with David in his camp, is he going to start complaining that his toes are? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't see anything going differently in this fight whatsoever for no. me. Uh, he did I, complain that he gave him a shoulder last time, didn't he? Like, sho- oh, no, yeah, he yeah. Gave him the old shoulder, yeah. I the think, old, the old that's, elbow. That's, yeah, that's obviously to sell the fight. But yeah, I can imagine that's going to be a lot more of that um, in the press conferences leading up to it. But yeah, yeah, for, yeah. For, for me, I'm, yeah, Liam Smith, another routine victory. I believe it's in the, is it the AO Arena? Yeah. Back in Manchester. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 they yeah. did, they did. So I, I read uh, before it got announced that it was going to be the O2. Yeah. But now they're back up in Manchester. Yeah, because um, uh, Liam yeah. Smith's got a good sort of fan base up. Up, up there um, I guess yeah. it makes more of a sense so first one was Manchester sense. first one yeah I believe it was yeah. Manchester yeah. 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 yeah what happens if Chris Eubank Jr. loses this fight I still think he gets the Conor Ben fight but I yeah. suppose he uh, it depends how he loses if he gets knocked out again like he did in the first fight then then there is question marks over isn't there I guess I don't I, I, I don't think the there is anywhere, is anywhere to go yeah I think <laughs> but where is there to go Billy Joe <laughs> yeah yeah Billy Joe will come back yeah well Billy Joe's been trying to come back for a while now hasn't he he's uh, yeah. he seems to be making a few noises doesn't he is, is, <laughs> yeah. A few few fighters, but I think there's there's been a few issues there trying to get the weight off again. And obviously, if, if you've got a big sort of bank account full of money at the moment, it, it, the motivation's probably not there. But are oh, you the same fire after that? I'd be worried uh, about um, that. Eye, I, I, yeah, that was horrific, wasn't it? Yeah. And with regards to Liam Smith, if he wins the fight, where do you think he, he'll go with that? Oh, it's it's a tough one because it's like Canelo's still still around, but he can't go back there. Well, he's not with Eddie Earn anymore, is no, he? He's would he's would him. Liam Smith go on? On uh, PVC. Um, Kelbrook. Yeah, there is that Kelbrook floating around. That's not a bad shout. That's not a bad but, shout at all. I mean, it's again risk and reward. Like, he's going to have a two Eubank fight. Like, you'd think you'd want to go bigger. Like, yeah, I don't know. Because if he beats Eubank again, then he's already beaten. If he beats Kelbrook, Kelbrook's washed up. I don't know. Again, it probably it probably gives a good payday. I've got, I've got a feeling Liam Smith's just looking at the paycheck at the moment and just trying to get yeah, the most. He's been yeah. world champion, hasn't he? He's, and he, he's price fighter. He may as well just go for the money <laughs> without being funny. <laughs> like, like at this stage in his career, uh, yeah, he's, he's that's done, true. It, that's true. Uh, Steve, you'd like to know about your odds. So, what, what's the odds on for this fight? Let's have a look. All right, hang on. Liam Smith to win. Well, there's a few fights coming. L- Liam Smith to win eight to thirteen to win. So odds Ooh. on favorite, but not massive favorite. Yeah, you thought it'd be slightly wider, wouldn't you? Yeah, especially after the uh, last fight and um, you bank eleven to eight. So not a lot in it. No, that's not, not at, at all, all, is it? That's, that's uh, interesting. Yeah, do you, reckon that's, uh, do you reckon that's down to the fact that um, Eubank was actually winning a couple of rounds at the start? Is only just because he got caught? Yeah, possibly. And he's have, yeah, he's gonna have to learn to uh, steer clear of that. Yeah, that punch from like last time. But yeah, no, I, I suppose that's fair. I, th- I think the memory from the odds from the last fight, he was um, Eubank was odds on favourite. Mm. But yeah, no, it's interesting. I thought it would be shorter than that, Liam Smith. But maybe, yeah. maybe the bookies know something we don't know. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> I think Chris Eubank Jr. in this fight. I said, I just keep going, coming back to it. I think the weight is just going to be a big, big issue. Every time he's got, got slightly hit, he, he sort of, he looked a bit like Bambi on ice. Like, he, he didn't yeah. look strong. <laughs> His legs didn't look strong. He, he looked, I said it before, he's almost like a tumbleweed would sort of <laughs> knock him over. It, uh, even though he was doing well in the beginning, but I just didn't feel like he had that punch resistance there from, from the start. I think he's not mm. been massively active either, has he? I- 
Um, no, no, he's had a I know he, he fought he? Liam Williams, didn't he? Yeah. And he and he knocked yeah. him down. That went the distance. Fair and enough. He couldn't he finish the fight. No, he couldn't. Yeah, couldn't. and that was and that was that, that was a thing really because you thought, oh, any minute now he's going to finish it, but he just couldn't yeah. finish it. And, it, and the, the longer it went on, you started thinking, what's what's going on here? And yeah, and that's why I yeah, exactly. sort of come back to it with the weight. And I think the weight played played a massive factor there because previously would have it would have got him out of there. Although they say there was an injury on the other side. Prior to that, he didn't. And then he did he fight someone in America, and the other bloke had to retire hurt like quite early on. It's, yeah, yeah. It's just not. It's not a lot. So it's not. Good luck, yeah. Really. I think maybe age might be <laughs> catching up with him a little bit. But I'll say that with Liam Smith, like <laughs> he's the but same. Isn't he? Let's touch on it. We've yeah. got the Cambosis fight this weekend. Mm. He's fighting Maxi Hughes. Mm. It's it's not been a lot of publicity about this one, has it? No. Nah. Really? It's it's on Sky, isn't it? I think. I'm sure. It's yeah, on Sky. I think Sky's picked it up a part yeah. of a deal they've got with ESPN. Right. And I I've got a feeling by the time this comes out. It's going to start ramping up. That they'll probably do like a proper press conference. Then obviously they're going to have the weigh in as well. But it's been a bit quiet from the promotional side of you, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've not, not heard a lot. They could have even sort of done it between like with the the cricket, the Ashes going on at the moment, Australia, England. Oh, they, could, they, they, yeah. they could have brought that together. But they've, they've, they've missed the boat with that. But, but, I don't know. I don't. Yeah. I don't think he was going to get. I'm, the I'm, I'm, first I'm saying that being in. a cricket fan myself, but like, I know it's yeah. I'm probably in the minority <laughs> being a cricket fan. Yeah. But. Yeah, I think it would have been a bit of a hard sell for Cambosis third time in Australia because obviously he had the two fights versus Devin Haney in Australia. Both over there, weren't they? Yeah, Melbourne. He did well over there, but obviously mm. he didn't get didn't get the win. It was a clear, 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 clear victory, victory to Devin but Haney. Yeah, just no totally disgrace. outskilled him. What chance do you give Cambosis versus Maxi Hughes? Uh, Maxi Hughes has been a good good run recently. I think mm. he's about six or seven victories on the on the trot. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's had a good couple of wins, hasn't he, Maxi Hughes? And I hope he does it. I really do. I, I remember reading some after he won the um the RBO world title. I think he went went back to his day job. And, oh, really? and like, wow. and, like <laughs> fair fair play to him. Like like he's a grafter clearly. Keeps it yeah. keeps him grounded, I guess. But you just want someone like that who, who's winning the world title. Yeah. To get that payday. <laughs> whether really. it's recognised or not, like yeah. He deserves it, but um, I think I should probably have a little bit too much for him. Is it going to be a walk in the park? Do you think? Nah, it's not going to be a walk in the park. It'll definitely be putting up a fight, but I think I think Composis has probably got more that's coming for him afterwards. Maybe it's a bit harsh for me to say, but Max Hughes has he reached the top of his his game? Yeah, because he's, he's thirty three years old now, I believe. Max Hughes. Yeah, I think he? I looked at it earlier. He's been a pro for thirteen years. I, yeah, I don't yeah. know. In fairness, mate, and if there's only three years difference between him and Composis, there might not be a lot in it. But and he's co- coming off a great win against Kid Galahad as well. Yeah, that was a good yeah. win. That was yeah. good. it was convincing. I yeah. guess that was meant to be Kid Galahad's comeback win after his loss, wasn't it? The stoppage yeah. before Ke- so. Kiko, wasn't it? Um, and then everyone was expecting Galahad to win that, and it was. We've not really After seen Galahad. No, I was really thinking seen Galahad that. since, really, have we? Nah, no, nah, he's a, he uh, was. Uh, he was really sought after, wasn't he? Like when he was younger, he was going to be the next best, like the new Naz. Mm-hmm. They were all saying, weren't they? And like, yeah. And uh, yeah, it didn't really, didn't really work for him. Did didn't it? really have the chin yeah. for it. No, well, he, no. I think, I think he was unlucky against Warrington, wasn't he? Yeah, and then, that, was a, um, that was a close fight. Yeah. And then, and he's. I think he's always had issues, and it, it goes back to like, what we were talking about, Chris Eubank Jr. earlier. I think with the weight, weight issues. Yeah. There, I think he struggled to make the, the weight over the years. And it is a case of should he have moved up sooner or or moved up? Well, he lost two years, didn't he? As well, mm. got banned, didn't he? He did get years? banned. He did. Yeah. So he just had to take it, didn't he? So yeah, back back to the matter at hand. Got Cambosis versus Maxi Hughes in in the US, Oklahoma, mm. I believe it is. I think yeah, pretty sure it is. What would a win do for? For Cambosis, would it put him back in there? Yeah, I think I think it's actually a final. Is it a final eliminator? Or it's, it's definitely an eliminator. Um, it, he's still got a big name, doesn't he? Doesn't it? He's still got a good name, Cambosis. He, he speaks yeah. well, doesn't he? he? He knows how to sell a fight. I think he's well, been he's a little... Haney twice, is not he? So his name's yeah. definitely out there. Yeah, I yeah. think he's been a little bit more low key that this time round because he just wanted to concentrate on the, the boxing in the background. And obviously, mm. when you're coming off the back of two defeats, it's difficult to be sort of brash and uh, and, and, and say you're going to knock someone out if he gets a win. Then I'm guessing it'll be on sort of you know. Yeah, but who does he go to? Who does he go on to fight though? Because he's fought Lopez, he's fought yeah. Haney now. Who does he Lopez. fight? Yeah, the only fight fight there for him I can see is maybe Lemachenko, but they don't do nothing for Lemachenko, does it? What about no. Ryan Garcia? Ryan Garcia's obviously got a loss to Tank Davis. That could be a good yeah. fight there. Shout. He's obviously Ryan Garcia's teamed up with Derek James as well, so they'll they'll probably want a couple of fights to try and get them to to gel. So that could be a good one, yeah. and, and that would do well. I think they do good numbers. You've got yeah, Cambosis okay. as well. He, he brings that sort of Australian stroke Greek crowd as well. He's got a good following. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. quite big in the US now as well, isn't he? With um, the Lopez win. Yeah. Fight. I think we'll wrap it up there. Thanks for coming on the show, Steve. It's been great. No, 
thanks great for inviting me. We definitely great. get you on again. Oh, I'm, I'm getting a bit jealous with, with all those drinks on the uh, in the background. They won't be there oh, next no. time. I'll come on. <laughs> it'll be empty. It'll be empty next time. Although yeah. a few of those look a bit empty now. No, that'll be that'll, that'll probably be after a Spurs game or something. I just, I've had to drink more. <laughs> I, did, I did want to mention Spurs because uh, it's been a great you great cut one for you guys. <laughs> I can't believe we've got a Spurs fan on on the phone. I know. Do you know ridiculous. what? I had to take it off. But normally across here, I've got a Spurs towel, so I just didn't want to. Like, I didn't want to like, lower the view. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get a number of dislike. Or we'll see how they do this this season. But thanks for joining us. Yeah, just uh, keep liking, subscribing, commenting, and uh, we'll get to them when we can. <laughs>